Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about uh, a major logical error that was in uh, the previous tutorial. Now, if you remember, for the enemy, it's going to access currentenemy.attacks at the index of currentenemy.attackNone. Now, you can see for each one of the enemies, we have different uh, attack um, Arrays. So we got zombie attacks, we've got villain attacks, and other stuff. So what we need to do is make all of these just attacks. Now you can see that we're going to get an error because we already have attacks um, in our enemy class. Now we can easily fix this. So since each of our villains only has three attacks, we can create public read only attacks um, with three indexes as a string. And now, for each one of those indexes, we're going to have to add um, an attack. So, attacks at index of zero is going to be equal to eat brains. I I don't know how I didn't notice this in the, in the last tutorial. I guess I didn't really look at the log um, very closely when we were testing it. So, then we'll set this one to claw. Then we'll do attacks two is going to equal throw up. Okay, so now that we have uh, the indexes in our attacks, what we need to do is make that for each one of the um, classes. I'll pause and come back once that's finished. Okay, so now that that has finished, you can see that I've got the um, I've added the items to the array in zombies, dragon, and villain VB. So now we can come into form1.vb and let's see here we got attacks and then attack num and then attack damage. And you can see that we made attack damage in the same way that we did attacks. Now let's come back here to enemy and we'll just take this out uh, to make sure that nothing uh, bad happens. So we got public overridable sub attack and then user health. So what we can do is we can just get rid of all of this. Because we have overridden this sub in each and every single one of our other classes that inherit from enemy, this doesn't have to have anything in it. It's just there that so that we can use it. Um, so let's say, for example, we have current enemy of type enemy. We wouldn't be able to call current enemy dot attack if it wasn't declared in enemy. And because it's overridable and we've overridden it in every single one of the classes, all we have to do is just leave an empty sub in here. So it's there for us to use, but it's already overwritten. So let's go ahead and run this, and hopefully we won't get any errors. And let's see here. Got event logger. We'll go ahead and shrink it down a little bit. So we can attack, and it says anchor throw. You can see that zombie has used claw. Punch, claw. Anchor throw, eat brains for 10 damage. Um, anchor throw, eat brains for another 10 damage. Punch, claw for 5. Claw for 5. Anchor throw for 15. Another claw, once again. Um, we got eat brains, kick. And you can see that Popeye has 1. So let's go ahead and close out of this. And we will close out of that right there. And let's just go ahead and make sure that uh, everything works fine. So you can see that we didn't get any throw ups here. So let's see what went wrong. We need to make this with a max value of two, I mean three, so that it will generate zero, one, or two. Now let's just make sure we've done that in each one of these classes. Um, Surprised I never found that error. But we'll go into zombie. Zombie's fixed. And we need to fix villain here. So apparently, uh, the whole time, um, it hasn't been ever going to case two. So now that we've got all that sorted out, um, let's go into form one. Now, I know I might get some comments from people uh, not liking that I'm getting errors and that I have to fix them. But other people, especially people from my channel that have watched, they said that I like it when I find errors 
and teach you guys ways to fix them and how you can incorporate that in your own programs. Okay, so when the enemy attacks, if Popeye is lost, let's go ahead and add that um, to the log. So new log dot add event and we just want to say um, Popeye has lost and just to make this uh, more noticeable we'll go ahead and do new log dot add event and then we'll just separate this from the rest of the stuff that is in this log. So we'll copy this one more time. And you can see that it's going to say Popeye is lost and it's going to separate it from the rest. So we'll do that once again for button attack. And let's go ahead, add that right there. And then new log dot add event. And then we'll add Popeye has one. And then we'll add this right here. So go ahead, so let's go ahead and run this. You can see that here is our form one and our event logger. So let's go ahead and spawn a zombie. So go ahead and click attack. It says use anchor throw. Um, and then the zombie threw up on me for two damage. We can attack again, anchor throw one more time. And you can see that it's logging everything that's happening. Let's wait for Popeye to win here. You see it says Popeye has won. And then down here, it adds an event to our log that says Popeye has won. So go ahead and close out of that. Um, let's go ahead and fix these logic errors that we have. Um, and then once you've done that and put all that code in, uh, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. Um, and if not, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.